Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate van vandaag, 23 april 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. As every weekend, our bulletin today will be in English. We do have data in 8 PSK 1000, around 1500 hertz. And we have another rather pretty antenna picture in SSTV PD50. We will start with the propagation news and some additional news of the RSGB. Hello, I'm Bob McCready, GK0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Now the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO on Friday the 22nd of April. It's been a week of mixed HF propagation, good at times and lousy at others. The solar flux index declined from 102 on Sunday to 83 on Thursday as only one lonely little sunspot remained visible. The K index, which is the three hourly measure of geomagnetic disturbance due to incoming plasma from the sun, has also risen and fallen, starting off at 4 last Sunday and declining to 1 at times during the course of the week. Looking ahead, the solar flux index is predicted to be between 85 and 98, according to the US Air Force, rising as sunspot 2533 comes into play over the next few days. It's bad news on the geomagnetic disturbance front. The Solar Dynamics Observatory's extreme ultraviolet image showed a massive coronal hole looking straight at us on Thursday. The associated high-speed solar wind stream from this may hit the Earth on Saturday, just in time for International Marconi Day. NOAA predicts the K-index could rise to 4 in the early hours of Saturday morning, tailing off to 2 by late afternoon. This may not bode well for HF propagation. Unsettled conditions are expected to continue until the 26th of April, with isolated active periods likely. Most quiet conditions are expected from the 27th to the 28th of April. Unsettled conditions are expected to continue until the 26th of April, with isolated active periods likely. Most quiet conditions are expected from the 27th to the 28th of April. And now the VHF and up propagation news. After some high pressure during last week produced a little bit of tropo for stations in the north of England, we're returning to low pressure over the North Sea. This may eventually drift across southern Europe later in the week. The result is a return of a cool northerly wind and means that April showers will continue to be a theme this week and hence give options for rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. Last week, sporadic E was reported on 10 metres and 6 metres and with the continued presence of a jet stream blowing down across the UK into southern Europe, there is plenty of scope for further the sporadic E events this coming week. The 2016 Lyrids meteor shower has passed its peak, so it's back to random meteor scatter contacts in the early mornings. Over the next few years, the Moon is entering a phase when high declination is combined with the Moon being at perigree or closest to the Earth. And this means long, high-elevation Moon windows will occur when path loss is at its lowest, improving EME conditions. This week, lowest declination occurs on Wednesday, so expect short Moon passes in the early hours of the morning. And that's it for this week from the Propagation team. The next planned school contact with Tim Peake on the ISS is on Monday the 25th of April from the Derby High School in Berry at 12.02 UTC. This contact will be webcast on the Aris Principia website and Tim's transmissions will be audible over most of Western Europe on the usual downlink frequency which is 145.800. Thanks to the Brazilian Amateur Radio League, LABRE, radio amateurs who visit Brazil for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games will be able to get on the air easily. During August and September, any foreign amateur will be able to operate in Brazil regardless of whether there is a reciprocal agreement. No IARP or CEPT license is necessary and no fees are required. You just need to send a scan of your passport identification pages and license, a list of the cities you intend to operate in and when, plus an email address to Executiva, so that's E X E C U T I V A, at labra, L A B R E, dot org, dot BR. Executiva at labra, dot org, dot BR. 25 used ex-BBC local radio cars are being sold on behalf of the BBC by Cambridge Broadcast. These have a professional technical installation of a pneumatic mast. The vehicles are all Peugeot-based on either 806 or 807 models, and the ages range from 2001 to 2006. Most have technical battery fit-outs with split charging from the engine and external mains inputs with 19-inch equipment racks and audio monitoring. Details are on the cambridgebroadcast.com website if you fancy buying one of those. 
Following agreement with the RSGB board, management of the Islands on the Air programme has transitioned to Islands Radio Awards Limited, a new not-for-profit company. This entity will assume full responsibility for all aspects of the programme, which it will run in partnership with the Society. The company has been registered in the names of its current directors, Roger Ballister, Golf 3 Kilowatt Mike Alpha, and Stan Lee, Golf 4 X-Ray X-Ray India, and a full board of directors will be established. The new company is fully committed to completing the paperless QSLing project that will allow electronic confirmation of contacts and no significant policy changes other than that are anticipated. On Monday the 25th, Anzac Day remembers those who died in 1915 in the fighting at Gallipoli. To commemorate this, amateurs in New Zealand and Australia will be on the bands using the same older modes once employed by radio operators in the military. This AM and CW event has become a popular annual Anzac Day activity, with those participating using older crystal lock transceivers or former military radios. No doubt you'll hear some movie or some recording that has this familiar yet eerie sound. That sound gave birth to the greatest gift from engineers to the arts, the electronic synthesizer. The synthesizer began in the 1920s with Professor Leon Theremin. In a Leningrad engineering lab, he played around with the latest technology, radio. It fascinated Theremin because radio changed electricity into sound. He brought two parts of the radio close together, so they made a sound like the squeal from putting a microphone too near a speaker. This propelled him, in his own words, to give these sounds a musical soul. He built an instrument where instead of physically bringing the two parts together, the performer's body would create the squeal. He would just wave his hands in front of the instrument, plucking music from the air. You've likely heard the theremin, as the instrument became known, in the 1950s sci-fi classic, the day the earth stood still. But well before that, Theremin toured the world and captured headlines. The New York Times called it ether music. The Chicago Tribune said that Theremin mysteriously reproduces music. Einstein called it as significant as when primitive man produced sound from a bowstring. The instrument made quite a splash until 1938 when Theremin disappeared abruptly. Kidnapped by Soviet agents, he was sent to a labor camp until he agreed to work for the KGB. But Leon Theremin had planted a seed. In the late 1950s, a 14-year-old boy built a theremin from plans he found in a magazine. By age 20, he began making them commercially, selling enough to pay for his engineering education. The student, Robert Moog, used what he'd learned about electronic music from the theremin and built in 1964 the world's first synthesizer. With Moog's synthesizer, the child of Leon Theremin's wonderful instrument, Electronic music became world famous with one of the best-selling classical albums of all time, Switched On Bach. Blieper de bleep. Tingelingeling. Wie is daar? De Zens Amateur. Vandaag niets nodig. Ook geen Morse QSO? Nee, vandaag dus niks. Jammer. 
Ja, tenslotte nog wat fragmentjes van hoe Jurgen ON3, Juliet Victor Bravo, vandaag het ISS wist op te vangen. Hello, Golf Bravo 1, Whiskey Hotel Sierra. This is Golf Bravo 1, Sierra Sierra on Backup Channel Charlie 6. How do you hear me? Over. Hello, Golf Bravo 1, Whiskey Hotel Sierra. This is Golf Bravo 1, Sierra Sierra, Backup Channel Charlie 6. How do you hear me? Over.